at this. Chickens. That's what does that. I need to find a way to keep them from getting wet. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, leaves inside the shop. Uh, that's right, racing season is officially over. So, what that means, you got it. Projects for the winter time. Uh, what does that entail? What am I going to do? You know, you know what I did last year. Link a video up here. Shows you what we did to the car. I uh, did quite a bit. This year, I'm not going to do as much mechanical on the car, you know, motor changes, any of that stuff. I'm going to probably leave that alone for this year. Uh, but what I'm going to do, one of the big projects, and if you've been following me on Instagram, you probably already know what I'm going to be doing. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is actually going to be rewiring the car. So I'm going to be ripping out all that wiring and turn around and put new wire back in the car. Because, you know, over the course of the year, or even the years I have had this car, I have changed motors, went from an LT motor to an LS motor, so all that got changed. Added new stuff to the car, took some stuff away, uh, little things like that. So over time, I'm always uh, kludging or just kind of piece wiring the, the, the wires in there. So it's best just go ahead and just rip it all right back out and just replace it with a brand new wiring. So at least I know where stuff belongs. So th that's exactly what I'm going to be doing with the car over the winter. Uh, for mechanical, the carburetor is going to keep the same. The cam is going to keep the same. Converter, I like to swap it out with another converter I have, but that's later on. That's beginning of the season. But for the, for the most part, I'm just going to keep everything the same. Uh, but that's about it what I'm going to do for the car. There's some other things I might want to do. I think I want to put the fuel tank from the front, put it in the back run a little bit bigger fuel cell in the back. So I might go ahead and do that. So I really haven't decided, you know, what else. But those are the two biggest things I think I'll be going, going to be doing to the car. But uh, that's it for the car. Now, for other things, the trailer, I've got some maintenance to do on that. I've got a little bathroom issue we need to fix, no biggie. Uh, but what else we're gonna do is wheel bearings. That's right. Over the course of the, the year, uh, I think we had this trailer now for two or three years. But anyway, we're going to take off all the wheels, check the hubs, make sure everything is running good, and uh, re-grease them if we need to, and just check things over. So that's a good maintenance item that you need to do with a trailer anyway. So ex that's exactly what we're going to do. Inside the trailer itself, not much. Probably just clean the walls up, touch up paint, touch little things up. Just make sure it looks really good. Give the trailer a good washing. I think we should be go good to go for this year for the for try or not this year, next year when we're racing and stuff. But we are going to plan on attend a lot more races next year than we did this year. So can't wait for all that content and all that stuff. But anyway, but for right now, what we need going to go ahead and get started. We're going to get this trailer pulled out, get the car taken out, put over here on the lift or at least on this side of the shop so we can start to do the winterize maintenance with it that's basically just draining the methanol out replacing the carburetor run everything on the gas just for a little bit to get it good and lubed up then from there uh we call it good so anyway anyway so with that boy that wind is strong um so with that <laughs> i don't know if you can hear that or not but with that let's go ahead and get this trailer Pull it outside and the car inside the shop. So here we go. Windy. A little bit. <laughs> hey, I heard something. Ding. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, let's get inside. <sighs> Holy shnikes. <laughs> it's blowing like 40 miles an hour out here at least. Oh, got to show you some of the damage it's done so far up here. So let me get this thing backed up. Yeah, so it's a 10 foot opening. I just try and get it in between the mirrors there and take your time. And eventually you'll get it right in the hole there. We got lights on the back there. I don't know if you can see in the mirror or not. But we'll take our time backing up here. It goes right in the hole. So yeah, we have a little dot there. Helps us tell us where it stopped. Okay. Let's get this thing. Okie doke. It raises. Well, how does it feel not be racing? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather race than have this wind. That's true. And it's what, 76 out here right now? Something like that. 76, 76. 76, this is December 15th. Notice I'm in shorts. <laughs> and he doesn't have a jacket on. So I know it's not cold. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Stop. <laughs> it's windy. furniture off the porch. It's crazy. Yeah, it's windy. At least the car's out. Let's go grab this cushion real quick. Run it back to him. Yeah, that should do it. We'll know here in about 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, hasn't blew the cows down yet, so. Held at the cows, and they're staring at us, except the bull. But these two, I wonder what I'm doing. I don't know. Look, he's still got grass hanging out of his mouth. Get back to eat. Go on. There we go. Good job. <laughs> now you see a methanol carburetor. And. Ta da! Gas carb. <laughs> that went quick. What? Think that jar is clean now? I say yes. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, we swapped out the alcohol carb, put the gas carb on. We're going to put some gas in there. We got the methanol out of the tank. A little bit of methanol in there and a little lines, but majority is going to be gas. So once we get it all mixed up, the majority of it's gas. So should not cause any issues. Anyway, this is how we winterize the motor. So we make sure the pump is still good lubricated. Cylinders, all that good lubricated. Everything's good and to go anyway. So time to get some gas in there. Gas is in. Ready to put the ignition on, check for leaks, fire it up. So, here we go. Get my camera here. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh. Is there stuff going in the carburetor? <laughs> Do it again. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Mercy day, yes. Uh, hope it don't back far. Maybe I'll spin it first, then I'll ignite it. <laughs> okay. okay.
Yep. Those tires, I've seen a lot of passes on them. <laughs> now I need to get rid of them. It's got virtually a new set that's on the car right now, and that should get us through a good first part of the year. Then we'll switch them out and get some new ones. So anyway, uh, but yeah, a lot done today. We got the uh, car pretty much what I'll call winterized. Uh, we haven't replaced the water in it just yet. We'll probably flush that out. Uh, probably first of the next year. It will never freeze in the shop. It's pretty much, uh, we'll keep it above freezing there all the time. So we'll not have to worry about the car freezing up or any of that stuff. Even with that bad winter, storm that we had last year where it got really really cold i think i had another video on that one well, i think it was called too damn cold i think it was what it's called but uh but yeah no if you want to take a look at that video click up there it's a pretty cool video to see how cold it was but uh other than that uh we're done uh for this project for now uh, i got a lot of stuff around here been working here around the house around the pool uh working actually over over there got a nice little generator cover well it's a pool equipment cover slash generator cover i actually have the generator sitting in there too so but uh with that uh i'm done right now uh until we get some of these other projects started and i'll try record those as you know as they come along so anyway with that uh if you do like what you see go ahead and hit the subscribe button and uh hit a like in it if you got any comments go ahead and leave the comments down there too i really would appreciate it so with that i'm out of here